Thank you for joining us. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Now, here let's solve this problem. We can square both sides now and say this is 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x, then all squared. Also square the other side, root 12 raised to power x minus 16 raised to power x, all squared. And on this side, square cancel square root, and we are left with 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x, all squared. It will equal to 12 raised to power x minus 16 raised to power x. So that is what we have after squaring both sides. Then let's do some things here. Let's express this 12 in form of 3 and 4 and also 16. So we can say this will be 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all squared. We now give us 12 can be written as 3 times 4. Then raised to power x. Then minus 16 can be written as 4 times 4. When we break it down, raised to power x. Then here now, when we look at what we have on the right hand side, it means each of them will be raised to power x. Because we have 3 times 4 raised to power x. Then 3 will be raised to power x. 4 will be raised to power x. Same thing here. So when we write this, we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x or raised to power 2. Then equals to, we can say this is 3 raised to power x times 4 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power x. So that's what we have here. And there's something interesting here that we can factor what is common on the right hand side. 4 raised to power x is common, so bring one out. We have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all squared. This will now give us, here we have 4 raised to power x. Then what will be left inside the bracket will be 3 raised to power x here. Then minus 1 will be 4 raised to power x left here. We have taken out 1. Then from here, we see that we have something that like the same in this bracket, both left and right. So let's use something to represent that. We can say let a letter, let u be equals to 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x. Then when we write that, we have this equation become u squared equals to 4 raised to power x u. And here now we can solve this by taking 4 raised to power x u to this side. We have u squared now minus 4 raised to power x u will be equal to 0. And when we solve this, we can factor what is common as well. From here, u is common. And when we factor u out, we have u into bracket u left here, then minus 4 raised to power x left here, then equals 0. Here we have either u to be equal to 0 or we have u minus 4 raised to power x equals 0 and also from here we can say our u equals to 4 raised to power x so we have these two values of u now don't forget our u is given as 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x from here so we can bring it down and say for u equals 0 for u equals 0 that is case 1 now is 1 for u to be equal to 0 that means our u which is 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x is equal to 0 don't forget to click on the like button as you are watching and also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe thank you now from here we want to find the value of x take minus 4 raised to power x to this side we have 3 raised to power x equals to 4 raised to power x. Now, when minus come here, become plus. Then we can divide both sides by 4 raised to power x. 4 raised to power x. So that 4 raised to power x cancel each other here. Remain 1 on this side. Then from there, we can say we have here now, that is 3 over 4, all raised to power x. So far, the two number is written to power x. Then on this side, we are having 1 left. Then, this is an index form. 
and we can change from index form to log in form that is when we have something of a raised to power x equals to n this can be written as log n base a equals to x that is x will be equal to log n base a then when we write this one like that as well so we are going to have log 1 so this will imply log 1 base 3 over 4 so that's log 1 base 3 over 4 which is equal to our x which is equal to x that means s equals to log 1 base 3 over 4 that is we can say we can write it in another way and say from here our x for case 1 will now be equal to log 1 over log 3 over 4 that is we have used change of base there then from here now log 1 is 0 log 1 is 0 so that means 0 divided by this everything will be 0 everything will be 0 so we can say that from here x will be equal to 0 that's the value of x1 that's our first value of x for case 1 x1 equals 0 now let's look at the second case so the second case from our u case 2 now we have u equals to 4 raised to power x and don't forget our u is 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x then equals to 4 raised to power x also when we solve this let's take 4 raised to power x to this side and 4 raised to power x is already here so plus another 4 raised to power x so we have 3 raised to power x equals to this will now be 2 4 raised to power x because when we add it together when we take this one here and we add it together we have 2 4 raised to power x then let's divide both sides by 4 raised to power x as well so divide by 4 raised to power x so 4 raised to power x will cancel each other here and then uh, this 2 will be left here then on this side we can write this as well as 3 over 4 4 raised to power x because both are raised to power x then equals to 2 and from there as well when we change this one from index to logarithm form we can say that our x will now be equals to log 2 base 3 over 4 which can be written as s equals to log 2 divided by log 3 minus log 4 so this is the second value of x from here so when we substitute our first value of x and this our second value of x into the original equation given to us we discover that it satisfies the equation and here we have come to the end of this class don't forget to like this video and also you know if you have any comment you can put it if you are yet to subscribe you can subscribe you say thank you see you in the next class and bye for now